guys, what's up? It's Dmax Brax here again. Uh, it's been a minute since I've been on the channel, I know. Uh, so, yeah, finally a video is coming out again. Um, so, sorry I have uh, kind of been out of the loop uh, both on Instagram and uh, as far as YouTube goes. Uh, I've just been really busy, been working, working all the time, been uh, been just, just, you know, after we moved there's all kinds of stuff to do and it's it's just been it's just been one thing after another and this has kind of had to take a back seat um, but hopefully I'm in a position where I can start at least trying to get back in the swing of things um, that is if I don't uh, hit something here uh, I could try to get back in the swing of things and and start putting out content again and, uh, and you know give you guys what you want to see um, this video I'm not really doing a whole lot uh, there has been a lot that's gone on that I you know I haven't picked up the camera and filmed um, so I'm trying to think of where I left off last time last video I think was the uh, uh, oh yeah I had to put the uh, stock downpipe back in my truck uh, I'll link that video up here um, if you if you hadn't seen that um, in case you're wondering yes it is still a pain in the ass to get in and out uh, that that stock downpipe sucks uh, the MBRP is very easy um, so and I've actually put them swapped them again um, so I have the MBRP back uh, our, our friend was able to weld it up uh, looks beautiful and um, so I got it back in the truck so no more of that whistling wishing shit that I hate um, also I uh, had another interesting issue that uh, you know plagues Duramax owners all of all generations and that's the Y bridge um, if you know anything about the Duramax, you know that that Y-Bridge is, well, it's a piece of crap. Um, there's nothing holding it together. It's just a, uh, it's a press fit with two O-rings. It, it doesn't want to stay together, and once you start pushing higher pressures through it, it just, it gives up. And mine, after being tuned for a year, and, you know, being driven hard for a couple years, it finally gave up. So, um, I had to, to fix it. Um, I tore the truck down, got the Y bridge apart, uh, put new O-rings in it. They were about five bucks, and put it all back together. Took it for a test drive and blew it right back out. So um, I didn't have seven hundred dollars to go ahead and blow for a a, a, a Y bridge. I wish I did, um, but I don't. Uh, so I had to make do, and um, what I ended up doing. Uh, so the biggest problem is is especially with aftermarket and cheaper. Um, like EGR deletes the the cold side pipe they tend to be out of out of adjustment uh, there's no support things like that so um, what I had to do was I actually had to bend the support brackets and uh, make it fit um, so I would uh, take the pipe out of there bend the brackets a little bit um, stick it back in see where it fell see if there was any pressure on the wide bridge and uh, you know did that again and again until I got it where I felt that it was going to, to support it well and that's been probably five th 500 miles ago and it's still holding and holds pressure beautifully um, I have noticed however that the boost pressure is lower but I think that's because I uh, put in that three inch banks uh, the hot side pipe and so now my max boost is around 22 23 psi instead of the 2930 but the truck still got the same power and everything so I guess it's just bigger you know more area less pressure but who knows I did but, a terrible job filming the uh, beginning of this but Hey, here we are. Right now, here's the uh, the Y bridge piece, piece, or as everybody calls it in the automotive world, the plenum. Don't know why. Got two brand new uh, O rings on it. One of them was completely gone. The other one was just not doing its job anymore. As you can see, there's a big hole there where it's supposed to go right in there. Um, to get there is actually a little bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Um, so you have to obviously take the intercooler pipe out that goes right there, take the intake out. I took the airbox off just so that I could get that belt off. Um, it was not easy to get that belt um, because of the SMB airbox, um, but it doesn't necessarily have to come out. And then you can take, if I can roll it over, it's hard to do one-handed, sorry. Take the uh, four bolts out of the uh, AC con compressor there, get that out of the way. I had to take the uh, thermostat housing loose um, and that bolt right there and just kind of pry it over just to wiggle that Y bridge out But uh, I'm about ready to put it back in I'm um, gonna grease these o-rings real good and just pop it back in there and hopefully Goes good. But. So that takes care of the Y bridge if it ever blows out you can fix it um, It is definitely still a weak link um, if it blew out once whoa if it blew out once it probably will blow out again um, Hold on Something interesting has happened here
Yeah, it's always fun when you make a turn and this is what you see. They must have bonked one another. All right, sorry, I don't know where I was at. That uh, that screwed me up royally. Um, so, uh, the Y bridge. The Y bridge is, is still a weak link. Uh, you can still blow it out. If it blew out once, chances are it's gonna blow out again um, if you don't do anything to change it. Um, like I said, the biggest problem on the, uh, the cold side pipes is just support. Um, when you've got the stock uh, cold side in there with the with the grid heater and everything, it actually uh, sits on top of the EGR valve, and that's a wide area with a with you know a wide a wide a wide area of support. So it, it supports that pipe well. It doesn't put any pressure on the Y bridge. It's right where it needs to be. And when you have cheap eBay parts like mine, they're not always perfect. So uh, just be wary of that. You can make them work. You can bend them. You can make it fit. Um, as I've proven now um, and it'll still run just fine um, but just be wary of that sometimes it'll take a little bit more uh, massaging to make it work right um, the other thing I want to talk about in this video is tuning um, I actually just recently changed tunes um, so I'm still through Duramax tuner um, not I'm not sponsored in any way by them but I you know I can't say enough good things about them. I don't know if they're the best tunes on the market. I can't speak to that. I mean, you know, there's so many companies from from Duramax Tuner, PPEI, Danville, Banks, so many companies have tuning, have custom tuning out there that, that you know, no one person can, can compare them all. And um, everybody has their favorites. Uh, PPEI seems to be a huge favorite with, with just about everybody, but I went a little bit different route and I'm kind of glad I did. Uh, nothing against PPEI, but uh, Duramax Tuner, I uh, called them and, or I emailed them actually first and told them, you know, what I wanted to do. I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, and actually what I did was I went for a uh, LBF tune, which is a uh, low, bo low boost fueling tune. Um, all that is, is um, so what it does is when you're running a, uh, a lower boost, uh, so like taking off from a red light or something like that, it'll add more fuel into the combustion to uh, help spin everything up, get it, you know, just a little bit more power down low before the turbo kicks in and uh, try to just help get loads moving and whatnot. So it was actually, uh, I, I saw somebody else talking about it and I thought I would try it and I've only had them on for a day, but I, I really like it. Uh, some people talked about their trucks would just smoke like no tomorrow. Uh, I haven't seen that at all. Uh, driving, I can't tell any difference. Taking off, it definitely feels like it's got a little more fire under it before the turbo spools. Um, it does smoke more. I mean, obviously, when you're not, when you're, you know, if you floor it taking off from a red light, yeah, you're going to get a, a, a lot more smoke, but not a ridiculous amount to start with. And, and definitely, it's like now, I mean, it's not like it's rolling coal down the street. So um, a lot of people worried about it. Uh, Duramax Tuner, they even told me, you know, they said, uh, you know, we don't recommend it because it's going to make EGTs higher and yada yada yada. Well, I'm not seeing a huge increase in EGTs. I'm not seeing any increase really. It looks like it's driving just the same. Uh, but there's going to be more on that to come because, I, like I said, I've only had them on for a day, um, and I can't, you know, I can't speak to it yet. But uh, Duramax Tuner, I had emailed them about it, told them, you know, I want to do this. They, you know, said, you know, it can lead to higher EGTs, lower fuel mileage, yada yada yada. You know, are you aware of all the, you know, the risks or whatnot? And um, you know, I said, yeah, but I still like to try it. And, you know, and he said, okay, we'll send you an updated tune file. And sure enough, they did, and had a little issue with a email address, but that's you know, that's not their fault. Um, but so got the tunes, uh, didn't charge me anything. Was just happy to accommodate me. Um, you know, little tweaks like that. I, I appreciate that they're willing to do that. Uh, they did the same thing when I uh, changed tire sizes. So, you know, I can't, like I said, I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, they're kind of like BDS when I had the issue with the steering stabilizer. Um, but they have been behind their product 110%. They have been helpful in anything that I've had. Uh, when I had questions, they were helpful. And um, so, yeah, I, I, I cannot say enough good things about them. They've been wonderful. And uh, oh, I even called them. If you want another funny story, when I got the Y bridge back together the second time and took it for a test drive, I had no power, nothing like I'd ever seen before. You could step on the on the gas and hit 3,000 RPMs and go 30 miles an hour. It would. It had no power, and uh, ended up tracing it back to a mass airflow sensor wire. Um, one wire had broke, but it it wasn't one. It was just the sensor. It wasn't one to trip a code. So um, that was hard to uh, to diagnose. But they were more than happy. Uh, 
to, to look at the logs and, and try to find, try to help me find an issue with it. So I w I'm definitely, definitely pleased with them as a company um, in terms of, of standing behind their, their tuning and their product and everything else. That's pretty much it. Uh, not a whole lot else going on. Um, I've got to do brakes on the back on this truck. Uh, I've ordered those. Uh, they're not here yet, but I've ordered those. May or may not do a video on it. You know, brakes, disc brakes aren't that complicated, but if you, you know, I may do it if I'm at home and, and all. Uh, I actually, I will do a video at least on the brakes that I got, and uh, that'll probably be the next video. But, uh, and then, uh, oh, I also had uh, an issue with my headlights. Uh, the housings, um, I don't know if I had said this in a video, but the, the adjustment on the housings I had, they were DT Moto uh, housings. And I have DT Moto tail lights, love them. They've been great, but the, the, the headlight housings I had were DT Moto, and they had a plastic adjustment screw. And I had one warrantied already because the screw stripped out, and both of them stripped out at about the same time and just fell straight to the ground and had no adjustment up so my lights were pointing you know straight down which was no good uh, i had to replace those i ended up stealing the ones off my old truck and putting the 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 old ones that i had on this truck that were they didn't fit the led bulbs well so uh, i ended up putting those on my old truck and stealing those and uh so now i'm running clear lenses and i hate it it just the smoke looks so much better um and also the uh the headlights that i've got are kind of going out uh, they were expensive ones my dad gave me and I'm unhappy to see that they're already going out um, especially since they're LEDs and um, I have ordered replacements they were like 35 bucks uh, and we're gonna see we're gonna see how that goes um, I may put that I'll probably put that in the next video with the, with the brakes um, and just see what I think of them anyway uh, that's pretty much it with the truck. Uh, not a whole lot else has happened that I can think of. Like I said, this, there wasn't a whole lot in this video, just a lot of talking. So, you know, sorry, but uh, just trying to catch you guys up, trying to get back in the swing of things, get videos recorded, get them out to you, get them edited. That's the worst part for me is I have, I'll have footage and just not edit it because I forget where I put it. But uh, anyway, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I know it was a boring video, but I promise the next one will have a little bit better content. But uh, um, follow me on Instagram, Dmax Brax. Uh, that that's where I put most of my stuff that happens. Um, I, the, I keep that up more than I do my channel, honestly. Until next time, guys. Y'all take it easy, and we'll see you then. Bye.